And with me in the kitchen is Kimberly Dawkins, uh, Dish Crawl Im Ambassador, and uh, Dat Tran from Moji, the bistro chef there. We'll get to you in a second, Dat, as you get started with the dish. M Kimberly, maybe you can tell me a little bit about, uh, about Dish Crawl and what it is. Awesome. Um, do you remember pub crawls? In yes, do I yeah. ever. It's kind of like that, but without the hangover and much more delicious. Okay. So, as long as you manage it correctly. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so uh, it, basically you're going from restaurant to restaurant then. Yep. Oh, that's a great idea. So the Byward Market's coming up next? Yes, indeed. Mm -hmm. That one is on March 13th. Okay. And we're going to be going to four different restaurants in the Byward Market, tasting different things. Top secret locations. Yep, it's like a surprise party. I like that. And so what you, you're actually tour guiding, you're, you're moving the group from uh, location to location? Exactly. Okay. So, um, and we are revealing the first location because that's where everyone's going to meet. Yes, sir. So, Moji it is. Dad, uh, tell me about what you're making. Um, I'm making a uh, butterfly shrimp on crostini in a sambuca cream sauce. Yes. <laughs> I agree. That is what you should make right now. It sounds fantastic. And this is kind of like, um, it'll be smaller meals, like smaller plates, exactly. right? Exactly. Kind of tapas style, little oh, tasting plate. That. So, yeah, because you would always want to sample. And this is a good way to actually get to know the restaurants in a, any given neighborhood, right? Absolutely. Yeah. So, uh, so we'll start there. And how many people typically are on these dish crawls? We've got about 15 tickets left. Okay. Um, and it's usually around 30 to 40 people. Do you see couples, singles? Everybody. Everybody, like, eh? All, it's all kind, it takes all kinds of fruit to make salad. There you are know all it. kinds of people here. So uh, basically foodies, anyone who really likes food and yep. enjoys. I love the social experience of, of dining with other people, having a drink or two, and just uh, having, it's really just a great time. It's really fun, especially down in the market. Yeah, food is a communal experience, and that's what Dish Crawl is all about. Community and delicious Are things. you seeing what's happening here, oh Dad? What yes. did you just do there? What did you throw in there? Uh, so that's heavy cream, so I've, mm -hmm. I've finished off the vegetables pretty much. Mm -hmm. I have uh, in there mushrooms I, I pre-browned. Okay. I have red onions and garlic uh, sauteed up. I have some uh, nice marinated artichokes, and that's oh. just threw in the cream. Mm -hmm. And this is when the Sambuca goes in. Okay. Oh. Yeah. I love the flavor of Sambuca, especially when it's cooked. Like, it's delicious Absolutely. in food. Sambuca shrimp is so good. Um, and you'll, would you need a wide-ranging palate, probably, or...? Um, yes, you should be open, right. you know, because we're going to be doing a lot of different things, um, which is part of the fun of it. And if you're not open-minded, when I first started this show, I really didn't like any food, and now I just realized I don't like bad food. <laughs> so that's the key. Well, there will be none of that on yeah, this trip. Yeah, exactly. So you're, uh, and then how, about how long at each restaurant do you hang out? Um, about 25 to 30 minutes. Okay, so just enough to, you know, settle in, have a little yeah. chit-chat time, try the food, and then bounce. Yep. I like that, I like that, okay. So you bring you uh, you bring this to a bit of a boil, is that right? Or yes. just two? Yeah, what I'm doing, actually no, I'm bringing it to uh, a fairly uh, hard boil because okay. I want to reduce the cream down to Thicken a nice thick nice. consistency. So. Oh, oh man, how, are you, how do you deal with this? Do you do you get a chance to eat as a um, uh, ambassador? Absolutely. Okay, <laughs> that's a pretty good gig, I like that. Uh, and what other neighborhoods have uh, are, are in the works or have been done already? Um, things that have been done already have been the Glebe, Chinatown, Little Italy, Yeah. lots of those areas where there's a lot of We're great We're so food lucky in this city. It, it's uh, a truly cosmopolitan food experience in the city, right? Absolutely. I mean, you just get everything. It's and so many good restaurants. It's amazing to me. All right, so uh, we're almost done this. This is almost, almost set. And what would happen? You're going to plate it on top of? Some uh, herb crostini that I've oh, already yeah. pre-made. Okay. So uh, yeah, pretty much I'm going to be putting the, the cream sauce and everything out of crostini and finishing it off with the oh, shrimp. That sounds amazing. If people want to sign up, how do they do it? You can get to your tickets on dishcrawl.com slash okay. byword market or slash Ottawa. Okay. Yeah. So and then you'll you'll find the next event. And yep. that's, again, one more time, the date, March, uh, March 13th. 13th. So that is doing the math somewhere next week uh, yep, Tuesday Wednesday. Wednesday there you go uh, and here we go so uh, that is the marinated artichoke going yes. on the crostini first oh that is awesome delicious and the shrimp looks perfect to me yum